Hi, everybody. It's Sandy. Welcome to my YouTube channel where today I have something very special for you. An interview I did recently with Sherry Woods from California, another one in my student interview series. So I hope you enjoy meeting Sherry and getting some inspiration from her. Welcome, Sherry. I'm so glad you could have this conversation with me today. It's been a long time since we've kind of known each other. I checked my blog this morning, and your very first comment on my blog was in 2015, way back then. And it was on a post where I was doing skin tone coloring, which uh -huh. happens to be what I'm doing this week on YouTube and on my, my social media. So I thought that was a nice little bit of kismet. So welcome. After all Thank this you. time, we get to talk to each other. Thank you. I know. I think the first time actually ever. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Well, why don't you start by telling everybody a little bit about you, how you got started doing creative things and, and kind of what your journey's been. Okay. Well, I've, I've always been making something. Um, I started out, you know, as a teenager, make sewing. I did a lot of sewing and such. And then that morphed into uh, eventually scrapbooking. I started scrapbooking because everybody was <laughs> scrapbooking. And I had all the things. And then I, I didn't really like scrapbooking. <laughs> and then so I sort of drifted off into um, the toll painting. I started toll painting. Um, maybe the late 80s I started toll painting and so I had I, I had buckets of paint I mean all those little little craft paints I had all that and um, I painted everything that wasn't nailed down I said <laughs> the kid and the husband had to keep moving otherwise they get painted too um and then after a while, you know, all of that is all decorative painting. And, and after a while, you run out of things to paint and people skip them too. <laughs> so, so I kind of put that aside. And um, then, then I somehow I discovered, I said, well, I can use these same paints to make cards. And so that started me on the card making thing. Um, and because I, I learned somewhere along the way, you water them down and they, they're like watercolors, but ooh. <laughs> so I made, I made a lot, that's how I started making cards. And um, then I had a friend who was into stamping. I said, okay. oh, oh, I can use- Your stamp. dealer. Yeah, yeah. Call your dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can start with stamping. And uh, then I started getting into that. And uh, then I discovered YouTube videos. I said, oh, oh, this is like a whole new world. All, all kinds of new, new things. <laughs> and uh, I started doing stamping. And somewhere along the way, I, 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 discovered, I discovered Sandy Allnock. I said, oh, oh, look, scenes. <laughs> I can do, well, I can make scenes and kept going from there. And then from actually from, from your tutorials, I, I learned about different media. I learned about Copics. Ooh. 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 <laughs> and then pencils and paints and real watercolors. And it just, I have all the things now. <laughs> so I guess I'm your dealer too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> G gateway drug, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm all in favor of people getting addicted to art supplies because it's much healthier than a lot of things you could be addicted to. Well, that's right. You know, I don't, I don't drink, I don't smoke. So, you know, putting all that money into art supplies, right? <laughs> <laughs> that works. Well, you, you've talked about a bunch of different mediums you've used along the way. What's your favorite one to use right now? And how has that changed over time? Oh, gosh. Um, 
I don't know if I have a favorite. I kind of bounce around. Um, I, I, I love the Copics. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're probably my go-to if I want to do something fairly quickly. Um, but then I get frustrated with them because markers dry out or whatever. <laughs> ah, and then I don't have to refill, so I have to put that aside for a little bit. Or, um, and then I, I get into uh, doing painting. Right now I'm doing a lot, doing a lot of painting with the watercolor. Um, but then I said, well, those pencils have been sitting there for a while. I think I'll try those for a bit. So it kind of bounce around. Yeah. No letting any of those mediums sit there unused. and Yeah, sad. yeah. And then I, I just went on vacation and I said, well, I didn't want to haul a lot of stuff with me. So I, I said, well, I'll just take a, a little bit of my sketchbook and uh, my fountain pen. And that's that did me for for a week (laughs) oh good yep it's great that you have so many options yeah yeah. for different things to play with right so is that the kind of thing that inspires you when you sit down do you decide on the medium or do you have another project in mind like what gets you started I think most of the time I find something that I want to make something like that and then I well that okay, okay, that one was watercolor. Okay, I'll do it in watercolor or, you know, that, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, do you have colors that inspire you, like your favorite color combinations or stuff? Or do you, do you bounce around with that too? <laughs> yeah, I bounce around with that. Mostly it's what I have. <laughs> um, although the collection is growing, so... <laughs> What's your process? Like, how do you go from, okay, there's this idea I saw and now I need to put it on a piece of paper. Do you, do you go through any kind of process to, to get it there, to revamp it, to make it your own, or do you just try to replicate what's there and then see what happens on the paper? It's a mix. Sometimes I see something and I, oh, I have that stamp. (laughs) (laughs) And so I try to get it as close as I can to the, the thing that I saw. Sometimes it, it's just, I got to make that card. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but other times it's, well, I don't have that stamp, but I have something similar. Um, I think I can, I can do something with that or I don't have that color, but Hey, I've got this one that, that works really well. I like this one. So I'll, I'll try something a little bit different and make it my own. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of a combination. Yeah. Depending on the mood. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, I've got to make that exact card. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> that happened to me, I think with my first purple onion designs card. Uh huh. Cause I saw something I'm like, I have to make that thing. Uh-huh, I uh-huh. That stamp and I had to go buy that thing. Exactly. Yeah. And I, that was yeah. one of those that was very distinct in my memory. Yeah. So do you have, a particular one that that you saw that you just were like that is the card and like that got you to go do something different oh yeah um, well there were two that recently that I, I had to make that card and one of them was yours <laughs> a purple onion designed by by uh, coincidence is the the village scene I said oh I, I have to make that that <laughs> epic one <laughs> The one that yeah, took yeah, me like five one. hours to make. Did it yeah, take you five yeah, hours yeah. as well? That's the one. And, you know, I, I actually bought the stamp and, and it was, it kind of sat there for a while because I said, I don't know if I really want to do an epic one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, well, what if I mess it up? <laughs> but, oh, just go for it. Just go for it. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. it sounds like you have some words to tell yourself when you start doubting your skills, you know, just go for it. What kinds of things do you say when, when that negative voice starts coming in your head? Like, how do you get past that? Um, it stops a lot of us. We just put the stuff down. And we're like, I can't do it. So I'm not going to try. Yeah. How do you get um, to I, you're going to laugh, but I hear you. It's, it's just a piece of paper. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. It's just go a little paint a little paper and if it nobody needs to see it if it doesn't work out and that's uh, true 
And that's a and really actually, good thought. <laughs> and and sometimes people, I think, actually like to see it when it doesn't quite work. <laughs> it's, okay, everybody has has a goof, you know. And uh, let's see, let's see. Well, what what went wrong with it, and what can I do with it? And sometimes yeah. like, you can actually save it it says, well it, it's not quite the painting I want but it makes a great background <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah or sometimes you can just put a butterfly on it and cover up whatever didn't work <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I've done that before I, I've done stuff like that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Well, one of your cards inspired one of my videos last year. And if you remember, I did a tag. I was, I was so excited. That was uh-huh. based on your card. It was on red card stock uh-huh. and you had colored flowers. And I was trying to re-engineer what you did. So why don't you tell us what you did on that card to make those flowers? They were very muted. So they kind of sunk into the paper really beautifully. So how did you do yours? Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, it's just red card sock from from a uh, you know big box store. It, was, it wasn't anything special, and um, uh, I I stamped the the image and then cover uh, colored it just with Copics that matched kinda. And then um, I was remembering contrast, contrast. <laughs> we need- we, we need to get that the, the darks in there to give it the depth. And then that was kind of the key and then blend it out so that it didn't look quite so standing there. Um, and then when I was making it, I was a little bit panicking because I said, oh, it's, it's too dark. <laughs> but um, with, with the Copics, especially on that the paper that matches, it you have to wait for it to dry and it took me a little bit to realize that I said oh oh okay it's I came back a little bit oh it looks better (laughs) yeah yeah one of the nice things about colored cardstock is that all those edges that don't blend when you're on white paper they kind of don't show up on colored paper Uh uh-huh uh-huh nice (laughs) and when, when I made it it was kind of funny is that I said well with this technique, you don't have to color the whole image, just just the highlights and the in the, the dark parts. So, but I don't know that it really saved that much time. <laughs> just trying to be careful and blending it out and stuff. But, well, when you're trying something new, it's always going to take a little more time. But if you're uh-huh. making Christmas cards like that, making multiples, it uh-huh. can get quicker. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'll put a link to my video that shows your card. I'll put a link in the description so people can go see your card. And I'll also pop it up here on the screen. So everybody can see what <laughs> well, we're thanks. talking about. Well, thanks. <laughs> um, let me see. What else? You sent me some pictures of some of your works that you, you were proud of. And I want to ask you about those purple onion, the, the van. Oh, yeah. did a series that I thought was hysterically cute. <laughs> Tell me about those. Like, how did you get to doing that? Oh what? gosh, so I bought that stamp a, a long time ago, just because I liked the little van, and um, I maybe used it once or twice, and it kind of sat there. But then I saw uh, a card by Amy Young where she had that same stamp and they were um, driving along the coast highway, Pacific coast highway. And I said, Oh, I fell in love with that. I "I must do that was the one I said, I must do that card. (laughs) And I have the stamp. So I did that one. And, uh, Oh, by the way, Amy actually sent me her card. That was very sweet of her. Oh, that's nice. Amy's a doll. So that gave me the idea of, they can be in other places doing other things. So uh, I had a, my brother-in-law, his birthday was coming up and he's from San Francisco. So I said, oh, I'm going to have him cross the, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, oh, fun. <laughs> and then we, we had gone on vacation in Utah. So I said, oh, they're going to be going through uh, Bryce Canyon. <laughs> And then um, I, I ride my bike all the time uh, locally here at on uh, Pacific Coast Highway. 
And I said, oh, there's a, there's a um, local landmark, there's a big water tower. So I said, oh, I'm gonna have them going by the big water tower. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking, well, I haven't done one of those for a while, where can they go next? <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. Just taking your stamps on a trip with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all those little characters. It's a nice yeah. challenge to just see how do you draw each of those yeah. things. Right, right. Um, do you work from pictures? I do, mostly. Mostly yeah. from photos, yeah. 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 Great. Very cool. Um, what advice would you give to somebody who's stuck creatively? What do you do when... You have no ideas. You don't know what to do. You've got a blank piece of paper in front of you. Where do you, how, how do you get past that, that blank, um, blank brain? I always have a, seem to have a list of stuff to do. <laughs> Things I want to try. You keep a list? You keep an actual I, yeah, list? Yeah. Oh, um, a, a Pinterest kind of list, mostly. Okay. I, I pin them on, on Pinterest as that, oh, I, I like that one because I like the colors or the technique or um, that card, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so I there's always, and I just go, when I'm thinking of something to do, I scroll through that and say, oh, oh, okay. Um, let, let's try that one today. <laughs> um, That's good. Also, I, mm -hmm. I have... I have a birthday list of people I like to send cards to. So there's there's always a birthday or two or five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. a Google sheet full of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Gotta keep myself organized somehow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah it's hard to sometimes do. hard to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have noticed that you've also been doing some stuff beyond cards you've been doing drawings and stuff some animal drawings and things what's got you inspired in doing that kind of kind of stuff like trying other things that are beyond card making oh um well i guess it kind of started with with the uh the lockdowns and the pandemic and so I said, <laughs> <laughs> uh well i should go find something to do so i started your 30 days drawing class and uh and then I got all excited with that I, I can actually draw said, really <laughs> that's, wow what a fun my, realization I, oh my goodness I did that that's so very cool I did that that's great so that kind of got me going and I took the drawing 101 and then I said I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, and and uh, so I did. I just yeah. well, I'll try. Uh, I'll just try something. I tried a portrait, and mm -hmm. oh, it it looks like her. <laughs> yeah, I was then, very impressed when I saw that. <laughs> and then and then I, I tried doing uh our our dog Molly. Uh huh. It, well. At that, and I still am at the point of says, uh, uh, let me just try it in pencil first because you can erase. <laughs> so I did, and I was, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's framed right over, over there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. How old is Molly? Oh, uh, Molly passed um, oh. a year ago. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she was 12, German Shepherd, 12 years old. Yeah, I used to have a shepherd. Yeah, uh, a big bear, a special big giant bear. <laughs> yeah, something that I think the pandemic did do a lot of people. We suddenly had more time on our hands. Yeah, people started uh -huh. taking up new things and trying new stuff. And right, that sort of right, thing. right. And I think you said you retired at this point. Yes, so you've, got, you've yes. got more time on your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I retired just in time to have a pandemic. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years to travel, but um, yeah. So retired and and uh, pandemic shut down. So hey, something to do. And, well, there you go. And yeah. now you've got new skills. So definitely, That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Well, another thing people might not know about you is that you are one of our admins on the Facebook group. 
<laughs> so here's my public thank you to you for all oh. of your help for uh, for the Facebook group and helping to manage that. Like, tell me about your experience on the group. What do you like about it? What do you enjoy there? Oh, definitely seeing everybody's everybody's creations. They're all a little bit different, um, different levels of of skills, and and that's that's great. You know, I like to see people, especially when they. Um, I said, well, I don't know about this, but it looks great. I mean, you're seeing a flaw, but it, it looks great. Um, I like um, getting to know people a little bit um, through their through their art and, and their their comments and such. So it's it's fun. I really enjoy seeing all of, all of the uh, creations. Yeah, so many people have gotten to know each other in ways that I wasn't really expecting when I created that Facebook group. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. Seeing that there are people there who exchange cards with each other and, you know, they say, well, I'm, I'm feeling sick now and somebody else wishes them well and sends them right. a get well card and stuff. It's yeah. just a really nice community. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. The community is the nice word. Yeah. yeah. And so thank you very much for your help in that. So Sherry's one of the people who helps to randomly pick a number for the prizes. <laughs> so if you won, she might be one of those people who has helped you to, uh, to get a uh, half price off class as a prize because we do that each month. But I really pleasure. appreciate your, your help with that. And I appreciate your, your positive comments. Like you're saying that there's always something good in people's artwork just the things that you tell people are so helpful and engaging. So I think that's why you're beloved in the group. <laughs> so, it's much appreciated. Well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Pleasure to help. That's awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's leave with one more piece of advice. Okay. Like, okay. So somebody comes to you, Sherry and says, I want to try doing such and such, whether it's a new medium or something, but I am just not capable. What would you say to somebody who just said, I can't do it? You can do that, but I can't do that. Um, of course you can. <laughs> yes, you can. You just, you know, just get, just jump in. Just give it a try. Of course you can. Um, get started. Yeah, take a class. Uh, if you feel like you need to do that, just jump in and try it. Uh, there's, you, you have nothing to lose by trying it. That is a great thing. Nothing to lose except a piece of paper. Right? Except a piece of paper. A piece of paper <laughs> is no big deal. Right, right, right. We can, we can all try something new. So thank you so much for joining me just for this quick chat. It was good to get to know you and to finally talk to you face to face yeah. instead of through <laughs> Facebook Messenger. <laughs> and yes. I hope that uh, everybody else will leave lots of love for you here. And over on my blog, I'll have pictures of some of the creations that you have made, some of your drawings, some of your cards, and you know, link to that other video so people can see that beautiful Christmas card that you sent in and uh yeah well thank you so much and I'll see you over in the Facebook group okay thank you very much Sandy I enjoyed it all right bye-bye bye-bye